Hey there, Matt here from Food Trailer King. Um, what I'm gonna do for you over the next few days is uh, send you some regular emails, uh, mainly on the most common mistakes um, and most common problems you find uh, with food trailers. Treat it as a way of um, actually educating you so that you know you're getting uh, good value for money. Now, the first and the biggest common mistake that no one ever knows until such time as they've already bought the trailer and it's raining is these hinges. I'm just gonna take this off. We're obviously dealing with one of the mid-sized food trailers here. Okay, let's put this down here. Basically, this is a massive, 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 massive problem and it's probably the most common mistake. When we shut this door here, if there's not the proper fittings here, up in this area here, what happens, even if you have a piece of steel up here, these trailers will leak. Now, we actually go through and fit a special waterproof seal here. So no matter whether it's down like this and heavy rain water comes here, or whether it's up, then the trailer can't leak. Now this is one of the biggest mistakes and probably the number one mistake. And just imagine this, you go buy yourself a cheap trailer and then find out that later on it leaks. Now, if you haven't already watched the main video when you register online um, that goes through this trailer in detail, but ultimately, this trailer is $11,500 $11 plus GST for our premium package. It is a bark and we make sure it doesn't leak and there's so many other common mistakes. I'll talk to you again tomorrow in another video that explains the uh, common mistakes that people make when investing in a food trailer. Okay, so um, now to the second most common mistake uh, that I find people don't realize until it's too late. But they buy a trailer that's cheap, okay? And big, big mistake, these drop down jacks, okay? We have to actually spend um, quite a bit extra to make these drop down jacks. You'll see just how easily they drop down. Very, very simple, very, very easy, okay? At the end of the day, if you don't have these, when you're winding the jacks down by hand, it'll take you 15 minutes to wind the jacks down and 15 minutes to wind them up, compared to literally one minute to pick them up and pick them down. Now, in all complete honesty, at $11,500 plus GST for this premium package um, for our mid-sized trailer, it is an absolute bargain. Now, if you see any trailer out there that has wind-down jacks where you have to wind them up and wind them down just like a car, do not buy that trailer, do not invest in that trailer. You'll wish that you never did, and you'll probably be coming to us and say, can you fit these jacks on there? And to fit these jacks on there after the fact is an expensive proposition. Now, once again, if you haven't already, go ahead and watch the full video, uh, which is online at, um, at foodtrailerking.com.au forward slash step three, where I go through all our trailers in full detail and show you how to make money uh, out of your food trailer business. Okay, Matt here from uh, Food Trailer King again. Now, one of the third most common mistakes, and this is if you're a little bit hasty, um, not having three sinks. Now, I'll show you. And I'll have to point a couple of things out to you here. First of all, all trailers, they need a floor waste, okay? Our trailers are fitted with a floor waste. The rules change between New South Wales and Queensland slightly, okay? Um, one thing that's different in, uh, and I'll get to the, to the, to the sinks in a minute, uh, one thing that's different in Queensland in particular, we actually, and this trailer doesn't have it fitted, we actually fit another piece of stainless steel around this corner. It has to be 300 millimeters high or the sink has to be completely separated. So this, this sink would have to be all the way up here. So there's no chance of your hand washing sink actually putting water into your sink that is used for um, our preparation of food. That's really, 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 really important, okay? so. The third biggest mistake we see from people is they don't have a trailer with actually three sinks fitted, okay? Very, very important to have three sinks fitted. Um, like I said, if it's, in, if it's in Queensland, we put a piece of stainless steel around there. It's not required in New South Wales. Hope that helps. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, watch the full video that explains all the trailers at uh, foodtrailerking.com.au forward slash step three or if you're ready to go forward make sure you uh, drop us an email give us a call and uh, we're happy to uh, get you up and running hey there matt here again um i want to go through the fourth most common mistake um, that happens with people when they're investing in a food trailer okay 
Generally, they invest in a food trailer without a range hood. Now, one of the reasons why we fit a range hood, which you can see from here into our trailers, is although both sides open up and you must have two serving windows, you must have two serving windows, okay? Even though that both sides open up, basically, if you don't have this range hood, what you'll find that happens on a calm day, you'll be cooking here and the whole actual trailer will fill with fumes. Whereas the range hood will just suck everything right out, okay? That's a big, big mistake. We include this in our premium package and we highly recommend you get it. And pretty much every single one of our food trailers uh, have this. So, so far I've showed you four mistakes. If you're ready to go ahead and invest in a food trailer, this mid-size package is $11,500 plus GST. Um, basically we can add rego and so on and so forth to it. Um, there is a full video that explains everything. If you go to foodtrailerking.com.au forward slash step three, or there is a link there below, and you can go ahead and um, learn more about our tra trailers. Or if you're ready to invest, go ahead, give us a call, drop us an email, and uh, we'll get the ball rolling for you. Okay, so um, I wanted to tell you about mistake number five. Now, the easiest way of telling you is also showing you um, this is a standard uh, tail light, okay? Now with these tail lights, you have to have a very close look. If, you, if you're not sure of what you're looking at, um, by the end of this video, you will know. These are just standard globes. The problem with these are, first of all, the lot wiring is extremely light. It's not good quality, okay? And these tail lights don't last at all. Second of all, all the fittings are very, very light and they get water in them and they actually um, basically stop very, very quickly, okay? Now, the lens, I guess, is okay. Um, what we do is actually fit proper, good quality LED lights. Now, this is a totally sealed unit. Now, if you know about LEDs, you know that LEDs basically last forever, okay? And there's lots of little lights in here. There's probably 12, in here there's probably 16, and another 12 here, all sitting on a little circuit board. These are completely sealed units, and you can see the wiring's a lot thicker and a lot heavier, okay? We include these, and you'll see it right here, exactly the same light all on these trailers. If you buy anything or invest in a food trailer, and this is another common mistake, these, these lights do not last long, okay? Um, we don't want any problems and, and we don't want you coming back for any reason whatsoever. So we aim to get everything right to start with, okay? And $11,500 plus GSC or $11,490 plus GSC, it's a dead set bargain. You can get out and start making um, money straight, straight away. And it's very, very important um, that you're actually clear on that and understand the difference in the lights. Now, if you're ready to go ahead and invest, uh, go ahead and um, give us a call it's, um, um, or drop us an email. Or if you haven't watched the full video that gives you a tour of all of our trailers, go ahead and um, watch it at um, foodtrailerking.com.au forward slash uh, uh, step three. So uh, another really, really common mistake is the wiring um, within um, these like lower end price trailers, okay? Or any food trailer in particular, okay? I wanna show you the difference in between wiring. Now you'll see, this is 240 volt wiring. You'll see it's actually um, solid core. Now you're not allowed to use that in a trailer. Now people and electricians, not everyone is 100% honest and 100% upfront um, like I am myself. A lot of people will hide things and not say anything, right? This is wiring that you're not allowed to use. This is the wiring that you are allowed to use. You'll see it's multi-strand. Now, the reason why they have multi-strand rather than solid strand is because when the tra trailer is being towed, what actually happens is the solid strand wiring can vibrate and make the connections come loose. Whereas the multi-strand wiring, that doesn't happen because it's not as heavy. It's not in one strand, right? So you've got to check the wiring. Now, you won't even know unless you pull a power point off and unscrew the wiring. It doesn't matter what anyone says to you. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you've got to check. Now, you can check any one of our trailers. We've always got the moldy strand because that's 100% right. It's 100% right way of doing it. Our trailers always also come properly tested and tagged, okay? I'm not telling you that they're Australian standards. I'm actually testing and tagging them by a licensed and qualified electrician, right? Big difference, okay? Um, now, also the power points. It's really, really major is this is a standard power point and like looking at that, you wouldn't even know the difference, okay? On the back, you cannot really even tell, okay? This is a proper power point. This is the only type of power point that can be in any type of food trailer. It's a double pole power point. What it means is inside the switching section here, when that switch is switched, there's two contacts inside rather than one. Now, the reason why they do that, once again, is because when it's getting driven around because it's mobile, it vibrates. If you have single pole power points, 
someone's gone and signed on that, off on that trailer illegally. This is like the sixth most common mistake that people make just simply because they don't know. They're trying to uh, invest based on price, not based on everything being done properly and no further problems. Anyway, I really hope this uh, video series is helping you. Uh, if you would like to go ahead and invest in one of our food trailers, um, if you haven't already, watch the, the actual video at foodtrailerking.com.au forward slash step three. Or alternatively, you can give us a call or drop us an email uh, at the office. Some of these smaller models we've now got in stock um, ready to go. Okay, look forward to talking to you soon. So the seventh and most common mistake and probably the final mistake, there's probably other mistakes as well that I made a miss, but I want to give you the major ones, is expecting too much from your food trailer, okay? Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, this is $11,500 um, plus GST food trailer. It comes with everything, basically add your appliances and away you go, okay? Now when I say expecting too much, um, when you invest in, and it doesn't matter who, who makes a food trailer, because it's stainless steel, Stainless steel can mark easily, right? So you might have a couple of um, blemishes on the stainless steel here and there, and you might have the odd not so perfect paint. At the end of the day, it's not a $40,000 car. These are cost-effective food trailer and a way to get you into your own business as quickly as possible. So don't expect too much. If you go over your food trailer, it doesn't matter who's manufactured the food trailer, with a magnifying glass looking for every mark, you'll never invest in a food trailer and you'll actually never get anywhere. And you've probably never gotten anywhere ever in your life anyway to start with because you're still always looking for something perfect, okay? At the end of the day, the food trailers are good quality, they're ready to go, but yeah, there'll be a couple of blemishes. Doesn't matter if it's us that manufacture them or anyone that manufacture them. So anyway, if you're interested to know more or go ahead and invest in one of our food trailers, um, please go ahead, call us or drop us an email. Or if you haven't already, go ahead and watch the video at foodtrailerking.com.au forward slash step three. Look forward to uh, talking to you soon.